I think most of us are attracted by uh, violent characters in the movie and stories of violent crimes. And uh, I think the fascinating thing of studying forensic psychology is to take a step further and trying to understand with a scientific approach while, why these things happen, how people become what they are and what we can do about it. So. There are four main courses in the major. The first one is an introduction to forensic psychology. Uh, the second one is risk assessment. Then you've got uh, crime, cognition and personality, and at least you've got diagnostics. And my favorite subject is risk assessment. Um, I think it's very interesting to look at uh, the things in the personality or in the cognition, what makes people uh, commit a crime. Like you've got hostility, uh, you've got antisocial behavior um, and things like that. One of the goals is to make the classes as much interactive as possible, uh, bringing uh, clinical cases but also talking about possible debates that are being discussed in the scientific community and we encourage students to take part in these debates as much as they can. Students who want to study forensic psychology um, has to be a very strong personality because you will treat and meet people who committed a serious crime. Tilburg University is the first university in the Netherlands having a bachelor program in forensic psychology. And another unique feature is that we have connections with several forensic centers here in the area around Tilburg uh, where uh, offenders are treated for a variety of crimes and pathologies that they have, but especially these clinics are specialized on sex offenders and pedophiles. My dream job would be to work in a forensic psychiatric center. It's a close institution uh, to save society. And my goal is to help the patient re-enter society. After this major in forensic psychology, the students will have the opportunity to continue with clinical masters or research masters and then pursue a career in research about forensic psychology or also clinical work, so working in clinics or privately.